Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. The first thing I would like to do is I would like you to uh, work in groups of two and groups of three. And I would like you to talk to each other about what you did during the weekend, okay? So, uh, let's see, two minutes, okay? So you can uh, talk about what you did during the weekend. Okay, let's hear some people. Carlos, tell all of us what you did during the weekend, please. Uh, nothing special. Uh -huh. uh, we, went, we went for, for a walk in Pamplona on Saturday morning. Uh -huh. uh, and we, we had lunch in a restaurant with my children, mm -hmm. my wife. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon, uh, we went to... Uh, uh, birthday, uh, a birthday is um, friend of my my son. Okay, and then you know what? Uh, can you tell us what Jose did, please? Uh, <laughs> uh, he went uh, with he, with uh, his daughter to ride horse on Saturday, uh, and yesterday he. He had to work yesterday, uh, a, a hard, a hard day. Okay, it's thank you. Okay, and Jose, can you tell us what Cristina did, please? Uh, it was it was a very special weekend. Okay. Because uh, on December was her birthday. Mm -hmm. Birthday. So uh, he and his wife. Uh, he has one. <laughs> uh, went to El Gorriaga to, to a spa. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. And um, Silvia, can you tell us what Carlota did, please? Carlota went to a passion day in Tapaya mm -hmm. uh, with uh, her friend. And at night he went out with her friend. And yesterday uh, he got the, the head of, of her dog, 
Mm-hmm. And in the afternoon, he show a, a football team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And finally, Carlota, can you tell us what Celia did, please? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to play a game, okay, a game which is called Alphabet, Alphabet Relay, okay, and in this game I'm going to name a category, okay, and then each of you will have to say a word starting with each letter of the alphabet which belongs to that category. I will give an example, okay? So, for example, if imagine I say, okay, so uh, the first round is going to be uh, um, things you can eat, for example. So I say, Cristina, what would you say, starting with an A, something you can eat? <laughs> and then you will say something with B, okay, and then, and then, uh, uh, Carlos will say something with C, with C and so on, okay? So let's see how many we can do. And you have a little bit of pressure because you have eight seconds to uh, think of a, a word, okay? So let's see. The first round is going to be verbs, starting with A. Cristina. No, so sorry. Uh... <laughs> Answer. Answer, okay. Starting with B, Carlos. Believe. Jose. Believe, very good. Carlos, with C. Uh, copy. Very good. Silvia, with D. Do. Do. Um, Carlota, with E. Um. Earn. Cristina, with D. With D? No. Oh, with F. Sorry, with F. Uh-huh. Phil. Phil. With uh, G. Uh, give. Give. With H. Okay, and with I. <laughs> Four seconds. Three, two, one, and time's up. <laughs> okay, okay, but it was good. It was a good round, okay? We did many. Uh, can any of you think of a verb with I? Iron, to iron, for example. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now I understand. Before I didn't understand. Okay. Now the next round is going to be um, adjectives. Okay. Starting with A. Awful. Awful. With B. Beautiful. Beautiful. With C. Mm. Colorful. Colorful. With D. Uh, dangerous. Dangerous. With E. Enormous. Enormous, very good, with F. Uh, fat. Fat, with G. Uh, giant. Giant, very good, Carlos, with H. High. High, with I. Illusionated. Illusionated. With <laughs> and um, Carlota with J. <laughs> Horrible. Very good. Okay. All right. So um, let's do one last round, and the last round will be about. Nouns, nouns, okay? With A. Uh, apple. apple, with B. Vegetable. <laughs> What's the oh, problem? <laughs> Vegetable is with V, okay? <laughs> okay, well, but very good, you see? And this way we, we are able to uh, remember some of the vocabulary that we already know, okay? <laughs> okay? And now, what are we going to focus on? Like. What can like be apart from a verb? Apart, apart from the verb to like, what can this be? What? 
So, like can be a verb on the one hand, right? What, which other type of word can it be? Preposition. A verb. No, a preposition. Preposition? Yes. Okay. Like, this can be a preposition. And what can this mean? What is the meaning of like when we use it as a preposition? Like us. Can any of you think of it? So when you say would be like it's like saying similar to something okay so it's similar exactly so we we'll say similar to can you think of an example in we use, in, in which we use like in this context as a preposition meaning similar to Jose Exactly. So this house is very big, like this other house. Okay, so it's similar to. Okay. And we would have. Which, which is the difference uh, with, uh, with us? Ah, we will get to that later. Later, we will focus on the difference between like and us. Okay. Okay. Don't don't run, Carlos. Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> so we would have. Um, then we would have a, a question. Uh, questions which adopt this structure. What like? In this case, uh, well, first, can you think of a, a sentence? Well, before we think of a sentence, in which context would we ask a question with this structure? Exactly, yes. We want a description, something, somebody, right? So, that's what we want. Okay, so basically, we are looking, when we ask these type of questions, we are looking for a description of somebody, something, or even a place also, or somewhere as well, okay? Can you think of a, uh, an example? A question in which we use like with this structure over here. What do you like? Sorry? No, because in this case, you are not asking for a description of a place or of a thing. What is your car like? What is, for example, what is your car like? What is your car like? What is, pa what is Paris like? Oh, so you say you have been to Paris. What is Paris like? Mm -hmm. What does it look like? What does it look like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like can also mean, can you think of another way in which we can uh, use uh, what would be a synonym of like? What would be the equivalent of like in another context, in a different context? For example, for example. So, like can mean, for example, or, 
for example, or such as, such as, okay? So these basically are the same as like, okay? Can any of you think of a sentence in which you would use like in this context? No, because in this case, we would be in the first situation. Now we're saying, we're using like a, another way of saying, for example, or such as. Jose? Oh, yeah, Carlota. I think was, um, I'll, I'll eat vegetables, uh, like uh, onions, uh, carrots. I eat, I eat many kind of vegetables, like onions, carrots, and so on. So in this case, we're using like as for example, or such as, okay? Very good. Um, another structure in which we can, in which we use preposition, preposition like. We could say, So here, we are using feel like plus the verb plus ing. Silvia, when do you think we would use this structure? Jose, no? Carlos? When you are talking about something you want to do. When you are talking about something you want to do. Let me see if I have another. when talking about something you want to do. Cristina, can you think of an example, please? Mm, I like uh, playing football. But in this case, you're not using this structure. So you say you like it, playing football, okay, that's fine. But how would we start this sentence? Yes, exactly. You're talking about something. You are. She is talking about something that she wants to do. Okay. You understand, Jose? Yes. Yes. Then in this case, it's similar to to good to good life. I good life. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Basically, it means the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. And finally, to to finish with like with preposition like. We would have Then we would have um, seem or sound or look like plus the object, okay? Uh, when do you think we would use this structure? No, not exactly. Would you like me to open the door? Yes, perhaps, to get some air in here. Not maybe too much noise.
Carlota, can you think of when we would use So basically what we are doing with this is we are introducing a subject that we are not completely sure about. We are doing, we are talking about an idea, we are talking about an idea that we are not completely sure about. Okay, so here. about an, an idea we are not completely sure about. Can any of you think of an example here? It sounds like a dog. For example, you are in a strange noise. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That would be a, a, an example. Something else. We, another thing we could say would be: um, it looks, it looks like it's going to rain. There are, there are uh, clouds, many clouds in the sky. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, my best friend hasn't come to class. He seems like, or for example, let's see, um, eh, eh, Carlos, can you, can you try to think of an example with seems like? No? No, <laughs> no because I'm trying to, to think about the idea. Like, mm -hmm. no. yeah, maybe you're trying to translate it literally into Spanish, right? Yes, It seems like it's going to be a nice day. It seems like it's going to be a... Yeah, seems and looks are very similar. They're very similar, okay? It seems like it's going to be a nice day. Um, But for me, the, the different, mm -hmm. the, the complicated is the object, because I think it's, it's easier with an with a object. I think it sounds like a... Like, uh, like strange, for example. What is strange? Yes, it's an adjective. Mm -hmm. No, I, it's. I don't understand this, this part. You don't understand. It. Let's see. Imagine you uh, you are talking. Um, imagine you're talking to a friend, and he's uh, describing a terrible situation that he that he has at home. Okay. He's describing a terrible situation that he has at home. And when he, finished tell, when he finishes telling you his story, you say, Oh, it sounds, it sounds like you are very unhappy. It sounds like you are very unhappy. Judging by the things you have told me, it sounds like you are very unhappy. But he said now, okay. No, yeah, it is. So uh, we would just say, um, so in, in this case, um, you are unhappy. The whole thing would be the object of the sentence. Okay? Like would be the preposition followed by the object. A an object can be... Uh, yeah, it's because mm -hmm. I, I was thinking mm -hmm. about a noun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, For example, exactly. It sounds like... Uh, Uh, not, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that sounds like a, like a horse. Oh, that yes. sounds like a no. No, it's a different kind of it's a different kind of object. It would also be correct. It's also correct. But in this case, the structure we are using here is more complex, and the object is formed by more words. The idea, exactly. Okay, this when uh, talking about like preposition like. Okay.
And uh, then we would have, if we focus on us, we know what this is, right? Which kind of word it, this is, Carlos? It's, it's uh, similar to light. Mm -hmm. But if we have to classify this word, which type of word would it be? Is it an adjective? Is it a verb? How do we call this type of words? Preposition. Preposition, okay? And when do we use as as a preposition? Before we would use it, for, uh, we would use it before a job, before a role. Okay, use this before a job or So basically, we're using as, as a preposition, before the name of a job, or to describe the purpose of something. For example, eh, ca, eh, Jose, when would we use as before a job? What is your job? What is your job, eh, Jose? So, so, what would the complete sentence be? I work as a teacher. Person. For example, I work as a teacher, I work as a fireman. And how would we use as to describe the purpose of something? You know what purpose is? The purpose is, uh, the purpose of something is what that something is for. What, how you can use something. For example, the purpose of a hammer is to fix things, for example. You know what a hammer is, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, how can we use as to describe the purpose of something? <laughs> Carlota? No? Um, for example, let's see, um, we could say, imagine you take, uh, you t imagine you don't have a carpet at home. You know what a carpet is? Okay, so imagine you have a carpet at home. Uh, imagine you don't have a carpet at home, but you need something on the floor. So you say, okay, I don't have a carpet, but I'm going to take a blanket and I'm going to use the blanket as a carpet. You see? Okay. No, Jose? No? Um, can you use your pen as a, as a, as an arrow? You know, you know what an arrow is? So if you go like this with your pen, you're using your pen as an arrow. And this is a that's a purpose. What, that's what you are using the pen for. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can also use the pen as a writing tool, which is what it's meant to be. You know? Okay? All right? Okay, and... Okay, so ask can be a preposition, but it can also be... It can also be a conjunction. It can also be a conjunction. When as is used as a conjunction, what is it followed by? What would be the structure?
it would, this would be followed. Later we will take a look at this with exercises and we will do an activity so, so you can see it in, in practice. So it would be followed by the subject plus the verb. Plus the verb. It would be followed by a subject plus the verb. How? Would, uh, can you think of a sentence in which we use as followed by a, con a subject plus a verb? This, this pen is as small, for example. No. 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 Because then what you're doing is you're using as plus an adjective. Okay. In this case, it's the. For example, and gonna, as I was telling you, Okay, as I was telling you uh, five minutes ago, you see Jose, you see, okay, as I was telling you, mm, I didn't arrive home in time as I was planning to, okay. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to put these ideas into practice but before, before we do this very quickly, there are two, um, two, uh, two last structures I would like to mention, which are as if and as though. As if and as though. Okay? Which kind of words are these? No, you had never heard this before? As though. As though. No. You hadn't heard either, Carlota? No. That it's together. It, it's, no, it's as if and as though. As. Mm -hmm. so, uh, these, both of these are the same, exactly the same, okay? You can use them, um, you can either use either one or the other. Okay. As if and as though are going to be followed by a subject and a verb and basically um, what we are going to do here is we're going to refer to something that is either likely or unlikely to happen okay um, for example, imagine I tell you, um, well, can any of you think of an example using as if? No? No? Okay, well, maybe what we're going to do before beginning this structure, which, is, um, which you are not familiar with, we're going to just focus on like and as, okay, for now. So for now, we're just going to, for now, we're just going to, um, stop right here, okay? We will focus on as if and as though some other day. So right now, what we are going to do, what we are going to do is just some exercises um, related to related to as and like, okay? Um, the, the, the activities we are going to do are as follows. Imagine As if it was an umbrella. Exactly, as if it was an umbrella. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But right now, uh, I think I prefer to just focus on the previous things. So, um, imagine.
So imagine we take this sentence. It's raining again. I hate weather as this. Now, do you think this sentence is correct or do you think this, there's a mistake in there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And if we have to, so in this case, as you can see, they are using preposition as. Do you think they're using it correctly, or do you think it's it's a mistake? Yeah. So it, the mistake is either it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's with like. It's with like, exactly. So instead of as, we have to be like. Okay? Um, so this is basically the, the, the exercise we're going to do in which you're going to have sentences, okay? You're going to have sentences and you're going to have to uh, decide if the sentences are correct or if there are any mistakes, okay? And if there are mistakes, please correct them, okay? So we'll have you do this in pairs. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if you want I can Yeah yeah come come here Carlota I will change the I will change the camera. Okay, so we have, um, so you can please do this in pairs and in a group of three, okay? And then we will, we will correct it, right? Oh, yes, sorry. Oh, no, don't worry, you, yeah, I checked, you, the clock can be seen, no problem. Thank you. 
Yeah, only the first, please. Okay, so we check the, the first one, please. Okay. Uh, Sylvia, can you read the first one, please? Very good. Jose, please. He gets on the nervous. I can't stand people as him. It is correct. You think it's correct? Does everybody think it's correct? Why are we using preposition as there? Carlos, why do you think uh, why have you decided to use preposition as? It's like, right? Okay, so it's like. Carlos, yes? You don't understand? No. <laughs> what do you not understand? No, no it's difficult for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the problem. Mm -hmm. but it's because it sounds for me, us, I can understand people as him, as him like him. Yeah. Uh, when you're, when you're, uh, when you're, if you want to refer to somebody who's similar to somebody, you have to use preposition like. Okay, not as. It's it's incorrect. You only use as when you uh, before a job, and uh, um, and when you refer to uh, when you want to talk about the use you give to something. So it, you cannot use as there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has no it has no it, it has no sense. Okay, okay uh, Christina, can you do the next one, please? No. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's correct, it's correct, exactly. Yeah, it's correct, yes, yes. Okay, Carlos, can you do the next one, please? Brian is a student. 
a small corner of his friend within his like. Like, exactly. Exactly. Carlota, the next one, please. You never understand. Talking to you is a uh, talking to the wall. It's okay. It's okay. It's like talking to the wall. Okay. Silvia, can you do the next one, please? Number eight. As I said yesterday, I'm thinking of changing my job. Correct. It's correct. Very good. Tom's idea seems a good one. Let's do as he as, as suggests. It's very correct. It's exactly, it's correct. Very good. Very good. Um, Jose. Uh, Cristina, the next one, please. It is correct. Yes. Okay. Carlos, the next one, please. Uh, suddenly, there was a terrible noise. It was as a bomb exploding. Within this, it's incorrect. It's incorrect. It was like a bomb exploding. Exactly. It was like a bomb exploding. And can you do the, the last one, Carlota, please? She is a very good swimmer. She swims as a fish. Uh, it's incorrect. It's incorrect. She uh, swims uh, as a fish. Very good. Now then, the last activity, uh, I would like you to do for homework the other two activities from this uh, from this photocopy, okay? So if you can uh, finish at home for homework, the, the photocopy, okay? Only, only the one you have on that side, not on the other side, okay? Only the one you have on, only the one you have there on that side. No, but I mean you have two sides. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, oh, uh, oh yeah. Now we understand. Sorry, yeah. So here you go. Okay, and here. And, um, let's see. Uh, I don't have a photocopy, but I'll give it to you later. Okay. What book is this? This is from the English grammar, from the English grammar book. Okay. Oh, uh, Oxford grammar. Oxford grammar. Exactly. So now the last activity we are going to do. Okay, now in this activity, what we are going to do is we're, we're going to do a, a survey. Do you know what a survey is? Yes. No. A sur uh, Carlota, can you try to explain, uh, Jose, what a survey is? Okay, so basically, <laughs> so basically what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, stand up, walk around class, and you're going to find someone who, has, who fits into these different categories, okay? So um, you're going to have to, uh, let's see, over here, over here, over here, wait, one more for, for Silvia. So you're going to have to, you're going to find someone in class who, for example, thinks that traveling to America is <clears throat> going back in time because of the time difference. So you're going to have to uh, fill out the spaces. Now, if you'll just let me over here a second, Celia, I'm going to erase some of the ones over here. Okay. Like this. Like this. Okay. So except for the ones that I have erased, I would like you to stand up and ask people 
questions, uh, ask people questions um, using this information. So for example, if we take the first one, um, find someone who thinks that traveling to America is, which preposition will we use there? <laughs> like, exactly, okay. It's like going back in time because of the time difference. We only use, a, listen, we only use as before a job or to a, indicate the use of something. If not, we use like, okay? Don't confuse as with like. Not the same, okay? If you have any questions, be, uh, please ask me, okay? So now whenever you want, you can stand up and find people who fit into these different categories. For example, how would we ask the for, number two? Find someone who works as a fireman, okay? Okay, so can I ask you to please stand up and start like asking different people these, these questions to see if you can find... For example, I would ask hey, Carlos, Carlos, um, do you work as a fireman, or journalist, or teacher? Okay. But I, I must do us to somebody. Exactly. So you have to ask people to see if they can fit into this category, okay? Or, uh, Silvia, do you think that traveling to America is like going back in time because of the time difference? And she will answer yes, yes. or no. Okay? Okay. So whenever you want, you can stand up and, and we can begin. You don't understand, Carlos? That's it. You have to find people who fit into one of these categories. So for example, I would ask you, Carlos, do you think that traveling to America is like going back in time because of the time difference? Yes or no? what the old father mother looks like you, I have to describe or no 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 you have you have to find someone who knows this so you would have to ask Cristina Cristina do you know what the old part of Madrid looks like no and she would answer yes or no or for example I would ask you um, uh, Jose have you ever felt like swimming with dolphins and you will say yes or no, because I have to find someone who fits into one of these categories. Christina, have you have you ever eaten exotic food like Chinese or Indian? Yes. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yes. That's that's how we do it. Very good. Was living the okay. Yes, I I know. Come with me. I know what the old part of my life looks like. Yeah. I have been telling you something like Chinese or Yes. And I like it very much. <laughs> um, 
Have you... Uh, have you... Have you had... 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 She was going to and which one? No, as he was going, as, as you were going. A conjunction, exactly. A conjunction. As I was going to work, as I was going to work, I had an accident. It happened while you were going to work. It would be the equivalent of while. As while. At the time that you were doing it, okay? Have you ever, sorry, had an accident? And you, on Monday, you come to work? Uh, have you uh, had you had an accident as as yes as as you was uh, you were going to work? No, I'm not going to the school. No, eh? No. No, it's not very. No, 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 no. Which one? Uh, yes. But, uh, uh, what the question okay. means? You don't have to make a question? What does the bro, old part bro, of Madrid look no. like? Bro, 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 bro. What does it look like? <laughs> Is it big? Is it small? What does it look like? The physical, the physical appearance of the city. What does Carlos look no. like? He looks like a nice guy. And you? He looks have like you, a strong person. Have you ever felt? What does uh, he look like? Like, like, like okay. swimming with dolphins? No. 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 Uh, okay, so Sorry. has uh, anyone has anyone uh, met has anyone uh, found somebody who thinks or uh, who has eaten exotic food? Has anyone found somebody, somebody who has eaten exotic food? Yes. Like Chinese or Indian? Yes. Carlos and Jose. Carlos, okay. And um, has, anyone fi has anyone found someone who works as a fireman? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a teacher. And a teacher. A teacher where? <laughs> there are two. Fast. And um, has uh, anyone found someone who once had an accident while he or she was going to work? Yes. You have found, you, Carlota, you have found Silvia? Yes. Okay. Jose. And Jose? Okay, so now let me check because I think it's time. Wait a second. Okay, so now I'm going to, we're going to say goodbye, so I'm going to, uh, wait a second, so I am Ivan, this has been lesson three, and this